Hello everybody <clears throat> and this is Objective Academy and uh, my name is V Narendra Kumar and uh, I'm going to teach uh, the first chapter of SSC 10th class board syllabus and the topic is a very beautiful topic called heat. Now, normally uh, we think of heat uh, as something that we know. I mean we touch something hot and we say it's hot. We touch something cold and we think it is cold but sometimes uh, a good example is uh, when a person has fever so we touch him and uh, we feel hot but he feels cold so that body where you touched is hot or cold so what we'll do is try to understand that wonder of heat there is a wonder in heat it is not as simple as we think normally you know that is a difference between someone who is educated in heat and someone who is not educated in heat who has not thought about the deeper the 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 deeper aspects of heat so what i'll do is uh, we have a wonderful text here so i'm going to read the text word by word because the text sequence has been laid out for all of you to understand the chapter perfectly perfectly the concept of heat not only that it is 10th class uh, uh, top uh, chapter so you will be able to answer any single question or any single bit from any corner of the textbook in this chapter so let's start reading right away so you can open the page one and uh, you can see the text uh, you can see the text now so we'll start recall recall remember recall the experiments you did in class 7th with the glass tumblers containing cold water lukewarm water lukewarm is neither very cold nor very hot lukewarm water and hot water we understood that hot and cold are relative terms that time we understood that hot and cold are relative terms you might feel hot touching a body and that same body being touched that person could feel cold and that heat was a form of energy so that's what you understood in class 7th we use the terms temperature and heat to describe these observations so now two critical very critical words have come temperature t e m p e r a t u r e temperature and heat h e a t <clears throat> the two concepts have been introduced here these words i'm reading now these words technically technically means in the subject of physics not in the way we use in real life but in the way we use in physics technically these words technically have special meanings in order to understand their meanings we want to understand their meanings what is heat what is temperature you know that is the difference the difference you have to understand in order to understand their meanings the meanings of heat and temperature let us do some activities so the beauty of this lesson is that every single thing is done through activities through actual your own being in touch with the real world your own doing the experiments your own looking at the reality of heat and temperature and then deriving the concepts so activity 1 now i'm going to read out activity 1 it can be done very easily take a piece of wood a small piece of wood and a piece of metal and keep them in a fridge refrigerator or ice box you can either keep them in a fridge or ice box what do you keep yes a piece of wood and a piece of metal 
after 15 minutes let it be in the fridge or ice box for some time 15 minutes take them out both of them wood, wood piece and the piece of metal and ask your friend to touch them tell your friend touch them which is colder both will be cold but which is more cold colder means more cold which is colder why that is the critical question both of them were kept for the same time but here you find a strange phenomenon the metal piece becomes more cold colder than the wooden piece when we keep materials in a fridge they become cold we all know that that is you now what does it mean to become cold when does the material become cold that is they lose heat energy now i am going to read the sentence again when we keep materials in a fridge they become cold that is they lose heat energy something flows out of that they lose heat energy the iron and wooden pieces were kept in the fridge for the same period of time but we feel that the metal piece is colder than the wooden piece so the metal piece is colder here comes a wonder question this is truly a wonder question because you kept the materials for the same time what could be the reason for this difference in coldness why is the metal piece colder than the wooden piece why it's not a it's not a, a silly question it is a very critical wonder question we don't wonder about this slight subtle thing this we miss it we miss it we know metal pieces kept in the fridge is becoming more cold than the wooden piece but we don't ask that question this question is very important that's why the activity what could be the reason for this difference in coldness does it have any relation does it have any relation to the transfer of heat energy from our body to the object from our body to the object this is not as easy as it seems does it have any relation to the transfer of heat when something is cold is something going out of me to that body he is asking that i'm going to read the sentence again look at your textbook does it have any relation to the transfer of heat energy from our body to the object does it have that relationship when you touch the metal or wooden piece you feel that they are cold no what does this mean why do we why do we feel that they are cold that means that heat energy is being transferred from your finger to the pieces that is why you feel cold that's what we saw in 7th class when i touch the wooden piece or the cold um, the metal piece heat energy is flowing from my finger to the pieces when you remove your finger remove your finger you don't get a feeling of coldness so the touching of it you get the feeling of coldness this means that when heat energy <clears throat> flows out of your body you get the feeling of coldness and when heat energy enters your body you get a feeling of hotness this is interesting some heat energy is flowing if it flows out of you we will get a sensation that, that cold feeling will get but if the heat energy is coming into us we get the hot feeling you can test this obviously by bringing your finger near the flame of a matchstick so if you bring your finger don't don't put your finger into the matchstick but if you bring it near the matchstick what will happen yes you will feel very hot something will come into you so when something comes into you that heat energy comes into you you feel hot and when the heat energy goes out of you you feel cold so if you feel that the metal piece is colder 
then the wooden piece than the wooden piece so i'm reading again if you feel that the metal piece is colder than the wooden piece it must mean it must mean that more heat energy flows out of your body this is important heat energy is flowing out of your body whether you catch a metal piece or whether you catch a wooden piece heat energy is flowing but heat energy the quantity of it the more heat energy is flowing out of your body when you touch the metal piece less heat energy compared to the previous one is flowing out of your body when you touch the wooden piece again i am reading so if you feel that the metal piece is colder then the wooden piece it must mean there is no other option it must mean that more heat energy flows out of your body when you touch the metal piece as compared to the wooden piece in other words the degree of coldness of the metal piece now i am bringing in this special word degree of coldness of the metal piece is greater than that of the wooden piece the degree of coldness i am relating into to more transfer of energy more transfer of energy more degree of coldness right less transfer of energy less degree of cold degree means how much how much the conventional what we follow normally conventional means what we follow normally the conventional definition of temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness so we say that the metal piece is at a lower temperature because it has got greater degree of coldness lower temperature as compared to the wooden piece when they are taken out of the fridge so the sequence is very simple the whole sequence of the activity you take a metal piece keep it in the fridge take at the same time both together you take a wooden piece and a metal piece and keep both of them in the fridge for 15 minutes take it out touch the wooden piece cold touch the metal piece cold but more cold is what metal piece metal piece is more cold when do we feel cold when heat energy flows out of our body if the heat energy is flowing out of our body if you feel cold then why is metal piece more cold because more heat energy is flowing out of your body and that he is relating to degree of coldness coldness so degree of coldness more coldness less temperature right more hotness higher temperature so the degree of coldness of the metal piece is more which means temperature is less temperature means hotness so temperature is less in the metal piece temperature is more in the wooden piece the degree of cold we say we can get back to the textbook we say that the metal piece is at a lower temperature we are using the word temperature now as compared to the wooden piece when they are taken out of the fridge why does transfer of heat energy take place between objects now he is asking a deeper question now okay more more heat energy came out of my body when i touched the metal piece but why did that happen why this is not a stupid question suddenly we are blank why why is first of all heat energy flowing from one body to another does transfer of energy take place in all situations do you always is there always a transfer of energy whether coming into your body or going out of your body what are this is the critical crucial question the last question what are the conditions for transfer of heat energy what are the conditions of transfer of heat energy let us find out so next sub heading is thermal equilibrium equilibrium heat and temperature when two bodies are placed in thermal contact heat energy will be transferred from the hotter body to the colder body hotter body more hot colder body this transfer of heat energy continues till 
both bodies attain the same degree of hotness or coldness at this stage we say that the bodies have achieved thermal equilibrium which is balanced equilibrium thermal means heat thus the state of thermal equilibrium denotes denotes tells us a state of a body where it neither receives nor gives out heat energy so suppose you have a hot body you have a cold body the heat energy flows from the hot starts flowing from the hot body to the cold body until both come to the same degree of hotness which means temperature and then these two bodies are called are said to be in thermal equilibrium with a third word has come here heat was the first word degree of hotness or coldness temperature was the second word and the third word here which has been introduced these are technical words which has been introduced here is thermal equilibrium if you are not feeling either hot or cold in your surroundings you are not feeling hot or cold then your body is said to be in thermal equilibrium with the surrounding atmosphere similarly the furniture in the room is in thermal equilibrium with air in the room both are in the same uh, temperature they have already the heat has already transferred and both have come to the same temperature so we can say that the furniture and the air in the room are at the same temperature so when two bodies are in thermal equilibrium that means they both have the same degree of hotness or coldness and that means that both are at the same temperature now we come to the second topic heat and there are two questions which has been which have been asked here what is temperature he is asking what is temperature but he said no heat degree of hotness or coldness but why is there a degree of hotness why is there so much degree of hotness how can you differentiate it from heat so now we are coming more closer to an understanding of what is the actual difference between the concept of temperature on the one hand and the concept of heat on the other hand this is where the whole confusion is there i have seen so many students they have completed that chapter they can even write some some of the question answers but if i ask them what is the difference what is heat what is temperature what is the difference between heat and temperature they do not know what to answer the concept is not clear they get confused they feel both are the same when when i say what is heat they say hot and when i say what is temperature they say hot it is not hot the degree of hotness already one clue has been given here when energy flows out of my body i feel cold when the energy comes into my body i feel hot if it is coming into my body then i am at a lower temperature when compared to the body from which i am getting the heat if i am feeling if the energy is going out of me out of me then i am at a higher temperature than the body to which i am transferring the energy all the clue is there we will see more clearly more deeply the same point but more clearly in activity 2 in the next session thank you so much